Let's begin today's journey with an entrepreneur from New Delhi who has shown undying grit and passion for entrepreneurship, overcoming his physical limitations. Here's his story. Arvind Verma, an icon of strength, an entrepreneur with a vision and a man full of life. He was just 14 years old when a horrific trekking accident took away his ability to ever walk again. But that has never stopped his mind from soaring to new heights. Today he owns and leads Delhi-based company Emil, a formidable name in the Indian instrumentation industry. Founded by a British entrepreneur in the 1930s, Emil was bought over by Verma's family and subsequently turned into a profitable company by him. When I joined, I never thought it would be an entrepreneurial role. I had taken it on as a professional role. The entrepreneur part came much later when I was able to own the part of the company. The feeling came that I should own something and run it because I can do something with it. And that's why I owned it. Otherwise, there was no need to own it. Over the years, Emil has become the preferred choice for instrumentation products as well as consultancy. It was the first Indian instrument manufacturer to get its research and development wing recognized by the government of India way back in the 1950s. It set up the first electronics calibration center in India in the 1960s and has since been supplying engineering products to various industry sectors. We manufacture quality control instruments in the field of civil engineering, uh, basically test equipment for classification of strength properties of various construction material like soil, sand, rock, cement, concrete, geotextile and also asphalt. We also manufacture structural monitoring range of products. We've historically only been in um, the civil engineering space. Uh, we've added some products in the mechanical space in the last couple of years. Uh, we're looking at adding other products which are in beta testing, which are going to go into um, you know, uh, the auto space, uh, into labs, uh, in, into various areas. Driving Emil's success story are its 600 employees, its two state-of-the-art manufacturing facilities at Greater Noida in Delhi, and its single most important goal of satisfying customers. The 300 crore rupee group exports a vast range of products, mainly to the UK and US, which in turn export it to the rest of the world. Within India, Emil is almost synonymous with instrumentation, catering to some of the country's most reputed names. We supply our instruments to all the cement plants, so all the big cement plants like ACC, Ultratech, Indo Cement, Madras Cements, they're all our customers. Apart from that, we also supply to the research stations like CBRI, CRRI, and also the big contractors when you name in terms of Larsen and Tubro, Kamen, uh, JP, Punch Lloyd, and many more. I think what makes us a leader is essentially uh, the fact that we are committed to quality and we are committed to our customers and we are a customer focused organization and that's the way we want to be. Competition is tough because uh, a lot of the buyers are government and they tend to buy at the lowest price and there's no way you can offer high quality at the lowest price. Has the recent economic slowdown affected your business abroad? It is not as if we are exporting only to the UK and the US which is which are primarily uh, which are the ports that we export to but those companies are exporting worldwide and there is construction activity happening er everywhere. It's happening in Africa, it's happening in the Middle East. It has affected us to the extent that the growth hasn't been what we anticipated but certainly it has, there's not really a, that kind of a slowdown. What's your vision for Emil in the next couple of years? The vision for Emil I, as I see it in the next couple of years is to be able to adapt the innovations in technology overseas and also to be able to indigenize a lot of the instrumentation that uh, we sell today to be able to bring it to the marketplace in a more affordable manner for the consumer. Emil now plans to expand both horizontally and vertically, adding customer training to its portfolio and stepping into new domains like healthcare. The company is expecting a growth rate of 18% despite a rough economic climate while constantly innovating to bring Indian instrumentation at par with global leaders. Alright, so that was Emil from Delhi setting new benchmarks in the instrumentation space. Let's find out what our SME doctor thinks of this company. Nirain Shah, Managing Director of Norwest Venture Partners, will be mentoring all the companies on the show today to help them grow their businesses. Nirain?
Uh, Emil, uh, I I see that you guys are in the test equipment business. I definitely think that that's an interesting area. One area I would say where you should definitely focus on that I looked at your profile and you have a you know significant amount of innovation in the past. You know, in 1956 you were very innovative. You started a few things. I would urge you to continue that innovation. You know, have you had some significant innovations in the last few years? I would urge you because you have that DNA in the company to keep pushing on the innovation side. Thanks, Irene, for those great tips for Emil.